Welcome back to Project Castaway, episode four. Today we're going to be exploring the island that's on the other side of this island. Um, I did a couple things off camera. Um, I added this up here because it finally let me add these. It wouldn't let me add the palm frond ones, but that's okay. Also added these metal roofs because I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, and I went ahead and started this up. I didn't really do anything else as far as... Uh, building or anything like that other than I added these over here to just drop off our logs whenever we come back. I killed a shark which I got shark teeth and a shark fin um, but that was after it killed me so yeah there was really nothing else that uh, that we did. Uh, I just played for a little bit chopped down some trees over there brought them back over here um, oh I did uh, last episode you saw like all of my coconuts over there along that wall I did move them up here because we just have so stinking many of them. And these boxes are stupid expensive. It's so dumb. It makes no sense. Four large sticks, six logs, and two cloth. It's absurd. So yeah, we're going to do this. Um, go over to this island over here. We're going to go ahead and search it. The one with the lighthouse. We need to keep an eye out for notes, sticky notes as well. Because we need, what, five more of those to be able to open up the box up there. I doubt we're going to find them all, but we'll see. I did add this sail to the raft here. Uh, it doesn't really help at all. I added the roof thing, and you have to crouch to get underneath of it. So I took it off because it was really peeving me off. But now that I took it off, I can't add anything else right here. Like I can come up here and add it there. Like Once you disassemble something, and I had the same issue with the, with the house too. Once you disassemble something, you can't add it back and it's kind of annoying it like breaks the snap point but that's okay um, oh i added these two so we can see at night looks kind of weird but that's okay <laughs> all right we've made it cool oh yeah that's all the stuff that we left last all that rotten meat <laughs> i left it there that's okay that's okay all right cool well we know that there's not a jaguar i need to pick up some of these sticks just in case i need them we know there's no Jaguar up here now, or Komodo, so that's good. Unless they respawn, but I doubt it. All the Komodo did. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, we've already searched all of this here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of this guy. Boop. Gotcha. So I'm gonna leave it there, because I don't want to carry the meat right now. Oh, that scared me. Bird. But hopefully it doesn't rot or anything. Okay, let's look over here. Okay, so we've we've came up this beach here looking for parts for the radio already. So what's this? Coffee plant? Okay, cool. Dish Nash. Oh, there's a bridge up there. Okay, first I want to come over here. Uh, cause we came, I think right here's where the last spot that we looked for stuff. Oh gosh, what are you? Jerk. Freaking spite us. Nope. Which one is it? There we go. Jerk. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get my arrows back. But yeah, I wanted to look around here. This is kind of cool. This would be a neat spot to build. Uh, what are these? Potato plants. We've got some of those on our island. Ooh, nice. Journal page and a blueprint. Zephyr seasoning. So let's take a look at that. Seasoning used to improve bird meat. Ginger, pepper, spice container we need to figure out how to make a spice container oh that's easy leather and rope okay cool uh then lieutenant jai thompson's note initial hope date april 20th 1944 so this is five days after the first one it's been five days since the crash i've managed to build a signal fire praying my comrades will see it strangely i'm almost happy about missing the battlefront surviving here away from the horrors of war Feels like a strange blessing. I think of my beloved fiance, Mary, and her unborn child, whom I hope will be a girl named Elizabeth. The thought of them fills me with joy and keeps me going. Hunger gnaws at me constantly. I've been eating some of the nearby plants, hoping they're not poisonous. So far, I haven't fallen ill, but the uncertainty is always there. This island, in a way, is my salvation. A chance to escape the bloodshed and live. I dream of the day I'll see my family again. Grateful for this unexpected reprieve. Each day is a challenge, but also a gift. So that's a kind of cool, 
little storyline there. Somebody that crashed here. It's a ginger plant. We've got some of that back at base as well. Um, but we can't use the prep table, which is freaking annoying. Because um, every time I do it, it eats me into the ocean. Um, but no, the those notes are pretty cool because it kind of gives you... It's not just a survival game. There's actually a little story to it. Oh, what is this? It's a little cave. Uh, hello. Hello, mate. Oh, gosh. You bastard. <laughs> Freaking, of course, there's a sp spider. Power box key. There it is. Sweet. Awesome. Cool. Are there any notes in here? Let's take a look around before we pick up these blueprints. Okay. Blueprint. Plane battery. Cleaver. Okay. A heavy makeshift meat cleaver. Ooh. That'll be fun. We're going to have to try that out. And a plane battery. Cool. Cool, cool. So we found all that stuff. Nice. Um, so the power box key. So we don't... So it's not in that box. Okay. Okay. I thought that was what's going to be in the box. Oh, there's another laptop in case we need it. Let's remember that that's here. What's next to it? A sign? Where are earplugs? Okay, so we can tear this apart. We're probably going to need to do that. We're probably going to need to get that apart for some... Oh, a bottle note. Nice. For pieces for the... Uh... Oh, there's another skeleton here. Okay. But for the pieces for the plane, more than likely, we'll probably have to get that torn apart. Awesome. Let's break this. Rope. There's cloth and rope. That's fine. Oh, there's a campfire here that he had. Maybe this is the lieutenant dude. Or maybe it's the guy in the cave. Lieutenant J. Thompson. Who knows? Who knows? Keeping an eye out on the side of things for anything brightly colored. <laughs> Look at you. Plane propeller. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. <laughs> no. <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> oh. I just deleted his ass. Okay. That's fine. Okay, cool. All right. So we got the plane propeller. So we're going to have to eventually build a chassis or find a chassis. Okay, cool. Um, so we got another one. Survivor's Guilt. June 1st, 1944. So the other one was April 20th. So it was about a month and a half after. Isolation is really starting to get to me. I can't shake the guilt of hiding here to save my life while my fellow soldiers face the horrors of war. They are the real brave ones. Fighting on the front lines while I ended up stranded on this island. My father never recovered from losing his own father in the Great War, and I vowed to be different. That's what I told myself to justify deviating from our course during the storm. But here I am, feeling like a coward. My brother died with honor in battle, and now I'm just stranded waiting for a rescue that may never come. The more I think about it, the more I realize that dying in battle might have been the more honorable path. This pathetic existence, scavenging for food and battling my own mind, feels like a poor substitute for the bravery and sacrifice my comrades are showing. It feels like fate, or someone is punishing me for abandoning my duty. War tears families apart, and I wanted to spare mine that pain. But now I fear that I may never... They never they, but now I fear that they may never see me again. And the thought of surviving when so many brave souls fight on haunts me every day. Okay, so we also have that bottle note there, which I'm going to wait to read. Because uh, I don't want this whole episode just to be reading all the time. How did you end up over here? I shot it right there and it... Okay. Yeah, I don't want this episode to just be me reading to you because I'm an idiot and can't read well. I don't read good. Got a nice little boat out here. Oh, there's a journal page on it too. Interesting. Man, these things are posted everywhere. They're so difficult to see too. Nothing's in there though. Okay. Well, we got another journal page. Like I said, I'll wait, I'll wait a second to read it. So you guys don't have to listen to me read the entire episode. Inventory full. So let's go up to the lighthouse now. I want to kind of get that done before it gets dark so we can see what's going on. 
because searching during the night seems ridiculous because there's so much you can miss like the little notes those little brown notes lieutenant thompson's notes no way i'd find those at night absolutely not so we need to make haste excuse me these little Ugh, dude, I, I'm not even joking. I know I've said it every freaking time, but those things give me cold chills. Every time they hiss and they're close to me, it just, something about them just goes right through me. Okay. So we're going to have to climb up these logs here. Looks like it. Alrighty. Okay, so here's a bridge. Oh, there's a freaking note right here. Ah, oh, Jesus, all over the place. We're gonna have a reading session over a campfire later. Oh, there's a blueprint right here. Nice. Shark axe, what? Menacing looking axe made with shark fins and teeth. That's what you need that for. Okay, I like how that's cut off right there. It's just hanging over. You need 10 shark's teeth? I got two for one shark. Have to kill five sharks. Okay. Well, let's see. Anything over here? There's a freaking sticky note here. Look at that. Review note in journal. Radio tower. Awesome. I'm gonna come out here. There's gotta be something out here. There's no way this is up here for no reason, right? No freaking way, bro. No way. Okay. Maybe they do be. Yeah, it was probably there to lead us to that note. To be honest. Okay, we've got a lot to read. Let's take a look at some stuff. We'll read a couple right now, I guess. Um, let's see here. Bottle notes. Let's continue with this one. Four pages. <laughs> Lieutenant J. Thompson's note. I found this note. Memories and dreams. July 10th, 1944. So it's been a few months since he's crash landed here. Brooklyn seems like a lifetime ago. I often find myself drifting down memory lane, recalling the vibrant life I once had. I can almost hear the crack of the bat as Johnny Romano hit another home run at Yankee Stadium. The crowd erupting in cheers, the smell of fresh pretzels from the street vendors mixed with the city's unique aroma is something I long for every day. Those were simpler times, full of life and promise. I think about my friends from the neighborhood. Tommy and I used to play stickball in the streets until the sun went down. Sally with her golden hair and bright laugh, who I secretly adored in school. I wonder where they are now, if they're safe, if they think about those carefree days too. I dream of a future world without war, where peace and progress reign. Maybe someday we'll have flying cars or colonies on the moon. It's a wild thought, but it gives me hope. I picture myself in that future, walking with Mary and our daughter Elizabeth, marveling at the wonders of the peaceful world. These dreams keep me sane give me something to hold on to every night here is a battle against loneliness the isolation gnaws at me slowly chipping away at my spirit sometimes i hear whis whispers in the dark the wind rustling through the trees or maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me the stars above remind me how vast the world is yet here i am confined to this tiny island the nights are the hardest i lie awake staring at the sky Trying to silence the doubts and fears, I think about my father, a stern but loving man who never recovered from losing his father in the Great War. He always told me to be brave, to stand tall. I wonder what he would think of me now. Would he see a coward hiding from the world or a son trying to survive against the odds? Okay, so there's more of him. He survived, uh, what, two and a half months, three months now, as of that note. So check all trees. That's what I'm kind of getting from that. Ready, and we'll play a little bit read a note play a little bit read a note hopefully we don't find more here because uh this could be a lot for us to read which is fine if you guys don't mind it i'm gonna read them all so national flag couple more national flags so he would have to be the one that's leaving these national flags right i mean probably not that many but the american soldier leaving the flags okay ah another one cool Yay. Keep going. There you go. Bye. Okay. Okay. So there's another one. Um, so this does look like a lighthouse. Oh, blueprint. 
Meat Smoker. We already we already have that. Meat Smokehouse. No, Meat Smoker. Oh, uh, so that's probably for a lot. This is for a little bit. Okay, we need to drink some water. Um, eat that. That should give us by for a little bit. Okay, where, what's that? Yucca. Oh, yucca. Oh, yucca. Anything on the outside of this? It's not really looking like it. All right, let's go ahead and go up here. Peppermint tea bag, lemon, ginger. Cool. More tea. We need to figure out how to actually make that. Anything else around here? Got to keep our eyes out for more notes and stuff. There we go. Blueprint. Elite bird snare. Rope, large stick, metal sheet, metal scrap. An easy way to catch birds with a higher probability than a normal bird snare. I mean, we don't really need that, dude. Our bird snares are just outrageously efficient. It's crazy how quick they catch birds. Because your hunger doesn't drain too fast, so by the time that you catch birds... <gasps> there he is. We found him! He's up here too. Alright, we're taking that boy back. Oh yeah. Snake bracelet. Is that one of the... Yeah, we'll just... uh. Um, can I not... Can I, can I please get rid of it? Okay, we'll just wear it then. And a blueprint for a trident. Makeshift trident, not quite as good as a Poseidon's trident, but the next best thing. Okay, so that's for hunting fishies by repellent. One slice flag. These are everywhere. The flags. It's another note there. Gee. <laughs> it just looked funny. It just looked like it, gl it was glitching and I was just, yeah, okay. So we found Wilson. We found this. That can stay here. I don't, I don't want that. Cool. So we found our buddy Wilson. We'll take him back. So the other one must have been a fake Wilson. Wait, where's our island at? Over there. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Um, okay, so let's continue with Lieutenant J. Thompson. We're at 63%, so there's still a few more. Okay, poem for my daughter, August 5th, 1944. I wrote a poem for my daughter, Elizabeth, and for Mary Elizabeth, and for Mary... Elizabeth should be born by now, and it breaks my heart to think that I may never see her. This poem is my way of apologizing for repeating the sins of my grandfather and for not being there for them. My dearest Elizabeth, though I may never see, know that your father loves you endlessly. My heart breaks for the movements we'll never share. For your first steps, your first words, I won't be there. I dream of your laughter, your tiny hand in mine, but fate has placed me in this cruel bind. I fought to survive, to one day hold you tight, but I fear my struggle may never see the light. Mary, my love, please be strong and brave. Tell Elizabeth her father's heart she saved. Though I regret leaving the fight behind, my deepest sorrow is being confined. I regret leaving the fight, but my sorrow runs deeper knowing I might never see them again. The guilt eats at me daily, but my love for them is what keeps me going. I hope one day they'll understand and forgive me. Okay, yeah, this is the next one, Paranoia. We'll, we'll read that in a bit. That's a, that's also a long one. Let's take Wilson, and let's get back to the boat. Um, or the raft. So I wonder if all of these notes are going to be over here. So there's probably, like, what, three more? Because they're about almost 10% progress each. Almost. There was two up here. And multiple on the way. So we probably missed some. I'm going to look around some more while we're heading back down to the raft. And I will show you if I find anything. Any more notes. Because I'm sure that some people watching might want to know where they're at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search around the island some more. Um, we kind of looked along most of that over there. But I feel like there's just so much. There's just so much to explore in this area. Here's our plane again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny that it's still on fire after it was submerged in the water for so long. Um, but there's just a lot of landmass to cover. And it's really hard to tell where these notes will be. I, I don't know if they're all going to be on the same island. I assume so because they're all from the same person. But I just don't know where to look. Note 6, Paranoia. October 20th, 1944. I've lost all sense of time. The days blur together in a haze of fear and confusion. Paranoia has its claws deep in me. Objects I know I place carefully disappear and reappear in the strangest places. At night, the island whispers to me. Voices carried by the wind 
that sounds almost human. I wonder if that's what happened to Wilson. Objects I know I place carefully disappear and reappear in the strangest places. Okay. The stench of my own unwashed body is a constant reminder of how long I've been here. I haven't had a proper shower in months. The grime and sweat cling to my skin, and I can't escape it. I've seen jaguars prowling the island. Creatures that shouldn't be here. I question my sanity with each passing day. This island is not what I expected. It's turning in me into somebody I barely recognize. Hunting for food has become a tedious, almost futile effort. I spend hours trying to catch fish, but the lagoon yields little. Foraging for edible plants feels like a gamble, and the hunger gnaws at me constantly. Each day I grow more desperate, the meager meals doing little to stave off my starvation. The nights are the worst. Cold seeps into my bones, and my makeshift shelter offers little protection against the elements. I shiver through the long hours, unable to sleep. Every rustle in the bushes, every snap of a twig feels like a threat. The island is alive with sounds that set my nerves on edge. I'm constantly on high alert, heart racing at the slightest sound. This island, once my refuge, has become my prison and it's breaking me, a piece by piece. My mind is unraveling and I fear I'm losing the battle against my own sanity. The isolation, the hunger, the fear, they're all wearing me down. How much longer can I endure this hell? Okay. Cool. So he's going crazy. And I'm really curious as to, like, if that's what happened to Wilson before. Like, he plays something somewhere and it just isn't there anymore. Possibly. Possibly. All right. I'm going to continue to search for goodies. This is, this island is massive. I like this island. We should build here. I think eventually, once we get far enough along, we'll probably expand out and build somewhere else. This seems like a good spot to build because there's just a lot of trees. There's a lot of good spots to build because you can be on the beach but not be right next to the ocean where it's super loud like I am right now. So that'd be great. Go away. Jeez. So I came back over to this cave over here with his body and Danny Harper here said that where is it at here there's a power box on the tower that needs a key to turn it on i'll most likely have it on me whenever i die assuming nobody else loots it before you it'll be on my body so this is danny harper this guy right here gross <laughs> he's still got blood in him i was just looking around for more notes and um i remembered that he said something about a key and i thought the key in the note was in the box but I wanted to double check it. Obviously it wasn't in the box. It's on his body. As it was said in the note, I am just an idiot. Okay, we need to go sleep. We're about to die of freaking exhaustion. Okay, well I was gonna build a fire and read another note, but it started raining. So I'm just gonna read another note in the rain because uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so right over here. So there's one. Yeah, one left here for Lieutenant J. Thompson. I found this note, War and Artifacts. Date unknown. I wonder if the war has ended. How old am I now? The days bend into one long nightmare, and I've lost track of time. I've found strange artifacts, pieces of pottery, old tools, and carvings in the rocks that suggest others were stranded here long before me. Were they rescued, or did they meet the same fate I fear awaits me? I have attempted to sail on a makeshift rafts, hoping to escape this cursed island, but they are flimsy, barely holding together long enough to reach neighboring islands, let alone sturdy enough to attempt crossing the vast Pacific. Each failed attempt drains more of my hope, leaving me feeling more trapped than ever. I'm getting sicker, and my will to live fades with each passing day. The hunger, the isolation, the constant fear, they're all wearing me down. I've even restored, resorted to burning some of the artifacts I've found for fuel feeling a strange guilt for destroying these remnants of other lost souls. The island is my prison, and I fear also my grave. I've started to wonder if I, it would be better to end it all, to find a way out of this relentless suffering. But even in my darkest moments, I think of Mary and Elizabeth. I can't bear the thought of them not knowing what happened to me. Everywhere I look, I see reminders of those who came before. Were they as desperate as I am now? Did they find a way off this island, or did they succumb to the same hopelessness that's consuming me? The carvings in the rocks, the scattered tools, they all tell a story of survival and despair. This island, once my refuge, has become a hellish trap. I fear I'm losing the battle against my own mind. The thoughts of escape, of seeing my family again, are the only things keeping me from giving in completely. 
but how much longer can I hold on? How much more can I endure before I break completely? So I'm thinking that there might not be another note from him on this island because he said that he built makeshift rafts and went to other islands. So there might be some notes elsewhere. I'm kind of hoping that that's the case because we've been scouring every inch of this place and haven't found another one. It would be really cool if there was like a way to track the stuff down though. Obviously you're never going to really know in a survival aspect like this. You'll just stumble across things. But it would be kind of cool to have some sort of, you know, clues as to where maybe like in the note, it's like I left another note uh, that this and just a description of the area on the beach on a boat or something like that, you know, something to make it uh, just a little bit easier to find. OK, while we're waiting for it to get bright out because I can't sleep anymore, uh, we're going to read this bottled note here. Claire's letter to whoever finds this. My name is Claire. If you find this message, please know that I am desperate and heartbroken. I put this message in a bottle, hoping it might reach someone, somewhere. Logan, if by some miracle you find this, I need you to know how much I love and miss you. Not a day goes by that I don't think about you, wondering why you ran away like that. Was it something I did? Something I said? The guilt eats at me, and I don't understand why you left us. Tommy blames himself. He thinks he pushed you away. He hasn't said it outright, but I can see it in his eyes. The way he looks out at the sea, hoping you'll come back. The hurt and confusion in his heart are more than any child should bear. Jake, too young to fully understand. Just clings to me and asks when you'll return. I have no answers for them. The only reason I haven't ended it all is because of the boys. They need me now more than ever. They've already lost so much. I can't bear the thought of them being alone. They are my reason for holding on. My reason for fighting through each day. But it's so hard, Logan. So hard without you. I miss your strength, your patience, the way you made us feel safe. I miss the sound of your voice. The way you used to look at me with that fierce determination. I miss the dreams we shared. The hope we clung to. But most of all, I miss you. If you're out there, please come back. We need you. I need you. The boys need their father. And I need the man I love. If anyone else finds this, please help us. We're stranded and losing hope. Well, that's just sad. Okay, I'm going to go up here and watch the sunrise. Okay, let's go ahead and just grab all of this stuff here. Let's not forget Wilson. I loaded up all of the logs that we chopped down onto this as well, just to have them. Can I place you like... I can't place it in the box there. Place you in there. No. No. Okay, we'll place it right there for now, but we're going to need to steer. I know I had this issue before. Okay, that stupid stuff that we brought back from the other island kept moving backwards on us. The uh, harp or whatever it was. If we can just put it up there, because it looks like it just rolls backwards and not side to side. So hopefully <laughs> this is ridiculous. This fire. It's too funny. Um, but for, dis for steering, if we just... Nope. Nope. Also, I've noticed that, like, since this is so long now... No! No! Oh! It does this weird thing with the water now. It makes these big, like, dips. Like, unnatural dips in the water. And I don't really know why. Maybe it's because it's too much weight on the front. It only really does it whenever we've got logs on it, though, so... I might just go straight here, take Wilson back to the base, and then come get the raft so we don't risk losing him in the water. Because if I have to jump off to get this and the raft just keeps going and I'm not fast enough, that would really suck. All right, Wilson, you're home. You're home, buddy. All right, let's put you... Can I put you on the bed? No. We'll put you right there for now, and we'll build you a little stand. Let me go get the raft, and then we'll we'll get you sorted out there. Okay, we are back. Okay, so we don't have a shadow. Just our just our axe has a shadow. That's funny. All right, so where are we gonna put Wilson? Let's see. It's under farming, right? Yeah, Scarecrow Wilson. Um. I want him to be here every time that we uh, that we come back. So let's put him like right here, just to welcome us. Any cloth? 
Okay, so I need two large sticks, which we've got right here. And Wilson. Here we go. Hopefully this is the right way. I assume that this is the front. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, such a beauty. Such a beauty. You guard my base, okay? I don't want anybody to come over here and steal all my stuff. Can we put the bronze shield on him? That'd be really funny. No. Lame. Anything else? Nope. <gasps> <laughs> you stupid game. I lost the lantern under the map. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to drop everything off, and then we're going to go up to the top there, open up the box, and just see what it's got for us. Okay, so before we go up here, look at this. So, oh, so the meat is smoked. All the, the fire lasts for that long. Okay, but it doesn't go bad when we're sitting on there. So you see your hunger for a good amount of time. This also should last us a while. So there's a meat rack here. Plenty of space to store meat and fish away from the dirt. I'm going to make this. I feel like it should be sideways. Maybe right here. Okay, so eight banana leaves, 14 metal scrap, four rope. Okay, let's see what we got. So one, two, three, four. Got some banana leaves right here. I'm not really sure if there's any more on this island, which would, it's really going to suck. Um, 12 large stick. We can do that fairly easily with the logs that we've got. 14 metal scrap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nice. Cool. Okay. Let's get some large sticks. Okay, so we just need five more banana leaves. Okay, we'll look, but I am not very hopeful for this because I'm pretty sure that these do not grow back. We've got plenty of palm leaves just littering this place, though. There's a ton back there. There's a ton right here. Uh, every time I've chopped down a banana tree, I've separated them. Okay, cool. So there's one right here. Okay, cool. We got two banana trees. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's get this finished. And boop. Cool. We got that. Put those right there for now. Wow. Add cooked. Dude, this thing holds so much. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's insane. Oh, salmon? Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to fish. We should go fishing. I need to go up to the radio tower. Holy crap, I'm getting so sidetracked. Three metal scrap, two rope, two feather, five small sticks. We could definitely do that. All right, and boom. Fishing pole. Nice. I just want to give this a shot real quick before we go up and unlock the... Uh, do I need to add bait to it or anything? No, it looks like it's got something on it. Okay, let's just fish off the back of our boat. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see how this works. Just hang out and do some fishing. We're definitely going to need to build a dock. Maybe I'll start building one now. I'm going to keep getting sidetracked. And we're never going to get up there. We're never going to get up to the uh, the radio tower. So do I have to go out like fairly deep to fish? Or can I just fish anywhere? It runs out so fast. It's already at 92%. Oh nice. It just does it for us. Okay. So you just throw it in and just wait. Discus. What the heck is that? So we got the salmon. Formerly, normally found in South America and be found in different colors. It's now found a way to my plate. Fish with a great mi micronutrient profile, especially when cooked properly. Nice. We want bananas back. All right, let's keep fishing. So I'm wondering if we're going to have to use the prep table for these because I can't use the prep table because it um, puts us into the ocean because it's stupid. Maybe we'll have to build another one. Maybe it's just that one that's glitched. I might try that in a bit. If we have to use the prep table. If I can just throw these on the smoker as is. It's fine. Rainbow chilid? A fish with interesting colors. Is it edible? Probably not if it's got interesting colors. Okay, we've caught quite a few fish. 
What are you doing? That thing is so front front loaded. Dude, look at this. Look at this. So strange. I need to get all these logs off of here. Like, look at how big that makes. Like, it just completely deletes the water. That's so strange. So let's see if we're going to need to actually do anything with these, or if I can just throw them right on. Ooh, nice. You can just throw them right on the meat smoker. So once those are done, we'll throw them on there. We'll just get all sorts of meat and stuff. I wonder if there's anything out on that branch there. I have not looked all the way out there. I'm going to check this. Because over there, on that other island there, all these spots had something for us, but there is something. Well, we just saved it. This will be okay, right? What is this? Ruby amulet. Oh, we're rich. Especially since we just uh, lost our stupid lantern below the map. I'm going to place that right there so we don't forget about it. Of course it's going to start raining, of course. I mean, it's good. We need water, but come on now. Okay, so we should be able to open this now. Sweet. The tower has been activated. Okay. So we've activated the tower. Um, but we still need to get into this box down there. So we still have the one note that we haven't read yet. Um, the radio tower. Let's see here. Tower repaired. With the tower parts repaired, I only need to activate the tower with the key. So we did that. Power box key. A dead body was clinging to this key. It says radio tower paper box or power box. Okay. Corporate greed. Date March 25th, 1985. Two weeks have passed since my last entry and things have only gotten stranger. Sam and I managed to get a few moments alone on the shore yesterday. Away from prying eyes of the supervisors. It's surreal how beautiful this place can be when the storms aren't raging. If only we were here under different circumstances. The platform tower is coming along, but there's a palpable tension among the crew. More tools have gone missing, and yesterday we found our colleagues, Marcus, wandering the beach in a daze. He couldn't remember how he got there or what he was supposed to be doing. It's like the island is playing tricks on us, messing with our minds. I've noticed some strange carvings on the rocks near the shore. They look ancient, definitely not something made by our crew. When I asked about them, the supervisors clammed up and told me not to, told me to focus on my work. Typical, but I can't shake the feeling that these carvings are important. A clue to what's really happening here. The food situation hasn't improved. It's still bland and barely edible. We make do. Sam and I have started a little garden behind the research ship, growing whatever we can from the sh scraps we find. It's not much, but it's a small act of defiance, a way to keep our spirits up. Every night I lie awake thinking about the strange events and the secrets Mordenpole is hiding. I've heard rumors that some of the missing people were involved in some kind of experiment, but no one knows for sure. The supervisors are tight-lipped, and the NDAs keep us all in line. Sam and I are determined to get to the bottom of this. We've started keeping a detailed log of everything that happens, every odd occurrence, every missing tool, every strange carving. It's risky, but we need to know the truth. If we can piece together the puzzle, maybe we can find a way off the island and expose whatever Mordenpole is hiding. There's something deeply wrong here. Tools, food supplies, even people disappear without a trace. It's as if the island itself was conspiring against us. Whispers of strange discoveries circulating among the crew, but Mordenpole keeps us in the dark with endless NDAs. It's like our lives depend on secrecy. Maybe they do. The food is abysmal, more suited for prison than a high-tech facility. My only comfort in this nightmare is... Sam? Reynolds, a fellow technician and my closest friend here. We keep each other sane with a dark humor and half-baked escape plans. I'm not sure why I'm even writing this. I guess I just need something besides work and gloom to pass the time. There's a digit written at the end of the note, three. All right, so we've got zero, three, zero and three, okay. So we've got two of the digits, so we still need to find, oh gosh, still need to find four more. And those are on the sticky notes, and those are probably stinking anywhere. It's really hard to tell where those are at. All right, we'll put this right there next to those. Hopefully that doesn't fall through the ground as well. Hopefully we don't need all this stuff. So an ancient Zytek shield, ancient lantern, a nine artifact, ancient lyre, musical relic of antiquity, echoing melodies of bygone eras, snake bracelet, a Zytek artifact, thought to have belonged to a chief's wife, 
ruby amulet said to once belong to Cleopatra. This amulet is a priceless artifact thought to be lost to the annals of time. Interesting. So, all right, guys, that's where we're going to call this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have been enjoying this series. If you have, it'd be great if you could comment down below. Leave me a like. It helps me out a ton, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>